out. <laughs> the Genesis Arms Gen 12 12 gauge shotgun. This thing is an absolute beast. Before we get into it too much, let's uh, talk about our number one sponsor, which is Huey Outdoors Thermal and Night Vision Supply. If you're looking for thermal or night vision, uh, check them out at HueyOutdoors.com or give them a call at the telephone number on the screen. All right, back into it. The Gen 12 is based off of an AR-10 platform. It takes magazines instead of a tube, like your traditional semi-auto shotgun would. Generally, and I've tested a ton of them, magazine-fed shotguns just suck. They suck. The only one that I have besides this that runs decent is one from uh, Dissonant Arms, a Vepper conversion, and they put a lot of work. Those guys are, are awesome, and that one runs good. But other than that, just straight out of the box, I have not ever had a magazine-fed 12-gauge shotgun that worked well. This thing is amazing. What makes it special? The barrel actually moves in here. The barrel moves kind of like if you're your semi-auto pistol and comes back and picks up that shell. That feature has made this thing so reliable. In that intro we, you just saw, we went through everything from the cheapest low velocity bird shot in, that Walmart had to, that I could find to 1600 feet per second federal double lot premium buckshot high power slugs, low recoil slugs, and everything in between, and it eats it like a champ. I have not, the only malfunctions that I had, I had one malfunction out here, was a fail to fire, bad primer on a shell, and then um, magazine issues. The magazine issues, which I talk about in the magazine portion, uh, but if you load this wrong, then you will have issues, uh, but that's all operator error. It's actually kind of hard to do, but we'll go over that in the magazine section. Again, standard AR control, safety, bolt re mag release. It does lock back on empty, which is awesome. Um, the charging handle here is kind of your, your AK style on the side. It does reciprocate because it's attached to the bolt. Now, it has the moving barrel in here, but the end does not. These were originally designed as a breaching shotgun. So you need to be able to make contact with the door to, to breach the lock. Oh, well, I got a lot of carbon, but we fired almost 800 rounds out here today. But so it's threaded on the end. This end piece does not move, it's fixed. So the barrel's in there and the barrel goes up into this, I don't know what you call it, the, the bushing, the muzzle device. And you can, that way you can make your contact shots if you need to, or you can mount a suppressor like this, which is, let me take it off here, the Huxworks Venom 12K from Silencer Shop. This thing is light, it's a monocore suppressor. It's tough. We've gone almost 800 rounds out here today and I've shot it a ton before that too. This thing, even on a uh, full semi, it, 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 it runs. We've got it heated up. Well, you just saw in the clip, smoking out of this thing, went through all the mags, dumping them and uh, it's holding up great. The suppressor, I don't know that it's hearing safe. Like I said, this is from a uh, Mill LE contract. It was made for the breacher guns. They, they have this, this particular one has a 13 inch barrel and then with the muzzle, the fixed muzzle end is about 14 and a half inches. They have now a five inch breacher, which I do not have. They have a seven and a half inch, which I do have, and a 10 and a half inch. So especially on those shorter barrels, when you put this thing on, the the blast, the concussion that, uh, that comes off of those things without the suppressor is crazy. With this on there, it is a totally different thing. You will know, if you forget to put this on, if you've been shooting it a bunch, you forget to put it on, you're going to tell a difference. You're gonna know immediately. You're gonna think something's wrong because you're gonna feel it almost, hell, it almost feels like you're getting a TBI because it's such a big blast, especially with that seven and a half inch. But the suppressor tames that and still, even with this suppressor on here, is the length of my uh, Mossberg and Remington Tactical standard 18 inch barreled shotguns without a suppressor. So this 14 and a half inch is the length of an 18 inch barrel. Then I can collapse this down and then it's even shorter. Um, or I can take the suppressor off. For setup on this one, uh, we have the Aimpoint Duty RDS. We have the Maul visible and infrared laser on here. And then I just have a 
a foregrip on here. As far as optics go, with the barrel moving, this being a 12 gauge, even though it's low recoil for 12 gauge, there's a lot of vibration going up here. I, I had to lock tight this down because it kept vibrating loose. For optics and all that, any kind of lasers or anything aiming device, I would put it on this top rail because there are M-lock slots all the way around here, but they do get a lot of vibration. I, I had some issues with stuff coming loose with a, a high round count up here, no issues at all on the fixed rail. Ooh, shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> well, that's a first. Holy hell. I'm sure it still holds zero. Looks like the lug, the lug sheared off. And this thing, I just, I just filmed the segment talking about how you know to put things on the top rail because there's a lot of vibration but it was super tight everything was good i, I guess um i guess that kind of explains why the slugs we just shot were um we're not holding zero <laughs> holy hell well the can is still good everything else is still good said 800 rounds today i don't know how many hundred rounds before but this has been on since since day one of this gun so probably thousand thousand five hundred rounds minimum but uh today today was the day it failed aim point duty rds on the gen 12 12 gauge shotgun what i don't understand is that i mean the recoil really is, is not that much i don't know maybe this was just maybe maybe just a you know i've seen toyotas fail i've seen I've seen some really good stuff fail. I'm, I have no doubt Aimpoint will take care of it. I just, I'm just, wow. The uh, standard one out of the box, I think comes with a hyperfire trigger. This one being full semi-auto uh, does not have that trigger in it. It just has the, the mill trigger in it. But what else is there? The advantages to this for what I do, I mean, again, this was designed as a breaching shotgun. The reason I got this, uh, 14 inch one is with shotguns a 36 from 36 inches to 14 inches as you're cutting down even inch by inch there's been multiple tests done you don't lose much velocity 14 inches seems to be the sweet spot once you go below 14 inches you start to lose velocity dramatically now when you're going in on an entry team or you're doing that uh the breaching that seven and a half is going to work fine I'm, you're going to be in close quarters i'm out hunting so I wanted one with a little bit longer barrel, so I opted, and, and again, this is a prototype. I don't know if they're gonna make it, but I asked them to make me one with a 14 inch barrel so I could get the optimal velocity with the uh, shortest barrel. And that's why I have this one. But when you put the suppressor on, especially the 10 and a half one, basically you're creating, uh, I didn't have a suppressor at first when I requested this shotgun. So on the 10 and a half gun, inch gun with this suppressor, you're gonna have a 14 inch barrel at that point. So um, it might have been moot. The 10 and a half may be the way to go for me, but I am very happy with this length right here. They're also coming out with a full 18 inch barrel with chokes. Uh, right now, this doesn't have any chokes because it has the fixed muzzle device. Now the JK Armament can, which I don't have on here right now, and this one may, because this, I haven't, but this end cap looks removable and you may be able to, uh, no, with that monocore design, that's not gonna work. The gun is empty, by the way. We've checked multiple times while I'm looking down the barrel. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one, no, there's not a choke option, but um, there are some other suppressors with choke options. But anyways, I regress. The 18 inch barrel will have choke. They're aiming for the three gun market there, I believe, but that one really excites me as well to be able to put some good quality chokes with some buckshot will extend my range. And for pig hunting, I think that one's gonna be really good for, uh, on the ground pig hunting. This thing, what I use it for is shooting out of the side by side. If you haven't seen our videos, go check them out. We chase down pigs, we do pest control, and this thing works great out of the side by side. Or if I get back out here in these thick woods where there's not, you know, not much room, I mean, once I get back in these woods in the daytime, my average shot's 25 yards. This thing is killer in that and allows me to, to move the brush. And I have the options with MagFed. As you could see 
on the recce vest here, I have color coded magazines. The, the tape is uh, slugs, the tape is buckshot, and then I have some other ones with some uh, red tape on them, and that is number four or number six birdshot. And what number four, number six birdshot is for is the real little ones, the, the footballs size piglets. I know uh, a lot of people, you know, are killing piglets. We're pest control. These are an invasive species. That, that birdshot, four number six birdshot, works awesome on those things and uh, is really devastating. So I can carry multiple types of shells. So if I run into a situation, you know, I'm out here in the thick woods, all of a sudden I come out into an open area like this and I've got some really big pigs 50 yards away. Well, I just switched magazines to a slug real quick or I have a sow. This has happened to me. I have a sow out with a bunch of uh, piglets. Well, I don't need slugs on piglets is way overkill. I mean, I'm not opposed to overkill, but it's, it's overkill and they're expensive. I can take, put one slug in the chamber, switch, switch out magazines, switch everything else out to buckshot or birdshot, take out the sow, and then the piglets, as they go crazy, now I'm, I'm, I'm all loaded up and ready to go. So there's a, a lot of specialty rounds and all kind of stuff. And when you had your tube, I mean, you were stuck unless, unless you fired a couple of rounds, then you could load here instantly. And that's the other thing. You're, you're gonna get a 14 inch uh, shotgun, tube shotgun, where this, this 12 rounds with one in the chamber, 13 rounds. Uh, I mean, even, even on an 18 inch barrel, you're gonna have to have an extender. So now your shotgun's become a 24 inch gun to have 12 rounds in it. Uh, that is simply amazing. All right, I don't know what else to talk about. I guess that's good.